All right, check out the size of this snake. It's a python, more than 16 feet long, and it's heavy, weighs 300 pounds. Sadly, we're getting used to seeing this coming out of the Everglades, uh, but this one, in fact, was not found in the Everglades. It was found in Hardy County near Zolfo Springs. Oh, and as Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisan reports, it raises some concern that that invasive python may be migrating north. Driving down Parnell Road. I just caught a glimpse of something shiny in the grass. Aaron Brown spotted something on his family's property that required a second look. I thought to myself, I said, dang gum, that's a big snake. And I had my mother with me and she goes, well, get out and get it. I said, do you get out and get it? I said, <laughs> I said, if that joker catches me, I said, you can't help me. It wasn't just any snake. It was a python. Aaron called his cousin, William Wilkinson, for help. And I told him, I said, man, I said, watch that thing. I said, I'm on my way. We're going to catch that big rascal. After slithering into a culvert, Aaron, William, and William's son, Hunter, went to work. We finally got him to come a little bit, and he pulled back on us. The family didn't give up. After hooking and shooting the snake, the fight was over. Once we got him pulled out, he just kept coming. We were like, my God, what a snake. And bigger than any known snake found in Zulful Springs. Then we measured him and laid him down and the two kids down down beside him just to get a rough idea and ended up finding a tape measure. Measuring in at 16 feet and 4 inches and weighing 300 pounds. The family called in wild man and snake hunter Dusty Crumb. We're down in the Everglades, you know, trying to stop these pythons from migrating farther north. He took the snake to have it skinned and examined. Inside, he found a hundred eggs. Pythons are appearing in other places than the Everglades. On Monday, FWC officers captured this nine-foot python near Rotunda in Charlotte County. Hopefully this is a rogue snake and they, they haven't uh, migrated this far, but these boys definitely stopped an invasion by eliminating a big breeding female like that. With this snake now gone, Aaron and William are keeping their eyes open just in case. I've been watching every ditch on the way to and from work every day to hope to see another one now. In Zolful Springs, Kimberly Quezon, Fox 13 News. Well, Dusty says these snakes are coming out because of the cooler weather. They try to sun themselves to warm up. So if you happen to spot one, Dusty says just call FWC 1-888-I-GOT-ONE and then let them know what's going on.